Hi, my name's Tom from Geek Media, and it being the last day of Geek Week, we thought we'd put something together for you. I'm going to tell you a little bit about me and why I called my company Geek Media, and on top of that, we've got some great interviews from people like Danny John Jules, the cat from Red Dwarf, Maddie Moat, who has her own brilliant YouTube channel and is a presenter for BBC Worldwide, Michael Gartland, who is a comedian and does the voice of Rimmer in an animated series of Red Dwarf, Graham Hoskins, who I've made some TV programmes with, and Ben Winard, my friend who used to make game guides. So my name's Tom Woodrow and I own Geek Media. I'm not normally in front of the camera, I'm much more comfortable behind it. But apparently it's important that it's me because it's my company and it's Geek Week and all of that stuff. So what makes me a geek? Uh, lots of things really. For starters, if I was really really geeky, which I am, if I was to press a little button up here say, a head up display would come up. Cool. So what am I geeky about? I'm geeky about loads of things. I love things like the Xbox, I love Doctor Who, I love Red Dwarf, I love motorbikes, I love Lego, I love Star Wars, and most of all I absolutely love Batman. Lego Batmans have two faces, did anyone else know that? I also do a lot of things that would normally be termed geeky. I love comic books. I also love drawing manga. I'm not very good, but let's cue the arse attack moment. Other things I love but not very good at would be card tricks. I try and learn as many as I can, but then I forget them and get them wrong and I'm, it's just a mess. I've got to pick them all up now. I guess one of the questions I always get asked is why I called my company Geek Media. When I was younger I used to go to an all boys school and I got very badly bullied. There was lots of hitting and kicking but on top of that I was called a lot of names and one of the main names I was called was a geek. Now I don't think in school I was particularly a geek, the only real thing was I didn't really like football and what I'd want to do is go off and play games with my friends where we'd imagine we were superheroes. In fact I went through a six month stage where all I wanted to be was Edward Scissorhands. You'd think I'd want to forget about when I was bullied. But to be honest, it was quite an important part of my life. It made me who I am now. And I made the decision to call my business Geek Media after watching a documentary about Darren Brown. And in this documentary, Darren Brown says... I was never really bullied, per se, but I was definitely a bit kind of picked on by kind of some of those rougher kids. Uh, thank God it's the rougher kids that go on to have the really boring jobs and adult lives, while it's the kids that get picked on that grow up to do the interesting things. This, for me, summed up everything perfectly. I now have a film company. I make films for a living. How cool is that? And all of that is because I am a geek. So at that point, I decided to embrace it and call my company Geek Media. Thank you, Darren Brown. And as the company got bigger and I started doing it full time, I did think to myself, you know, maybe I should change the name. But once again, I heard some wise words, this time from Simon Pegg, who said... Being a geek is all about being honest about what you enjoy and not being afraid to demonstrate that affection. It means never having to play it cool about how much you like something. It's basically a license to proudly emote on a somewhat childish level rather than behaving like a supposed adult. Being a geek is extremely liberating. And after hearing that I thought, you know what, I am a geek and I am embracing it. There are loads of different types of geeks and I don't think it's fair to say that just because you like sci-fi you're a geek or because you like Warhammer you're a geek. There are so many different types of geek and you can be geeky about something that's not a geeky subject. I love motorcycles. Now motorcycles aren't particularly seen as geeky but I really love them which means I'm a bit geeky about them. So let's hear from some of my friends who are a range of different types of geeks. We start with Danny John Jules. Now he's quite famous for playing the cat in Red Dwarf and I recently made a TV show with him out in Africa. He's at the moment on set for Death in Paradise and he recorded this great video for me. Hi, it's Danny John Jules here. This is my boy Dante, we're on the set of Death in Paradise. And I'm just gonna do a little piece for Tom Woodrow's Geek Week. Geeks, that I'm more of a kind of affiliate geek, an honorary geek, because with the uh, guidance of Doug Naylor, we created what is considered the king of the geeks, Dwayne Dibley. My uh, geeky pleasures are kind of watching science fiction movies basically, because um, everyone kind of said that science fiction films were rubbish and, and when I actually uh, realised that most of the films that I enjoyed were all science fiction. What is a geek? I don't know, I suppose a geek is somebody that uh, 
does things with technology, or likes it, or um, like me, just screw it up. Now, as you can see, behind me, there aren't many geeks here. We do have a director, though. There's Robert, look, see? He's a geek as well. <laughs> So as Ross, he plays around with microphones. Yeah, super geek. See, he's a super geek. He's waiting to put one on me, look. I am indeed. See, look, look in his hand, he's got a mic. See, it's all very geeky, this stuff, look. See? Geeks. Yeah. So, for now, I'm just gonna go and get my mic done. Tom, I'll talk to you soon. Next we've got Maddie and she's definitely a geek, but she really loves her natural history. And it's fantastic watching how excited she gets about her geeky passion. Hello Tom, thanks for having me. I think the problem with people calling themselves geek or when people say they're a geek, they feel the need to define themselves. And I think that that's not necessarily true anymore. I think in the past there were definitely different species of geek if you want to say. You definitely had your gaming geeks or maybe your math geeks. But now I think the word geek has changed slightly and for me it just means to be really enthusiastic and possibly knowledgeable about one thing that makes you tick. So I think you can be geeky about cupcakes for example. If you really love making cupcakes and you know absolutely everything and all of the different ingredients for recipes then I think you can be geeky about cupcakes so you'd be a cupcake geek. Um, Personally, I wouldn't say there's like one thing that I love more than anything else, but if I had to choose, it would probably be natural history. I spend so much time watching nature documentaries and reading up uh, about animals and just following the life of David Attenborough, so I guess I'm an animal geek. I think being a geek is about being relentlessly enthusiastic and, and positive about something that you love despite what anybody else thinks. When I was at school it was the geeks who really loved science and really loved math class despite what everybody else thought. It was when everyone else was into the Spice Girls or I don't know, Pogs or whatever, don't get me wrong, Pogs are very very cool. <laughs> um, but you know, the geeks were still like, oh no, you actually know I want to look at the periodic table. They didn't care and I think that's what being a geek is all about. It's just to be positive about something you love and not to care what anybody else thinks about that. I I think once you've accepted or once you understand that it's absolutely okay and it's cool to be positive and to be enthusiastic about whatever it is that makes you tick, whether that's video games or whether it's maths or superhero movies or comic books, I think that once you've accepted that you can embrace it and you can own it and it makes you who you are and other people will find that cool. I think positivity and enthusiasm is something really really infectious and although it might not seem that everybody else is interested or you might not think that it's something you should maybe say out loud because you think it might be a little bit geeky, I can assure you that if you're positive and you really enjoy that subject, it will be infectious. So if you own that, then you kind of have the power to enthuse other people. I think the problem with saying a guilty pleasure is that it would suggest that being geeky is something that you know you shouldn't be uh, too, too noisy about, that you should keep quiet. Um, so actually, if you've got a geeky guilty, guilty pleasure, I think if you've got a guilty, geeky pleasure, then you should shout out about it. Um, what's mine? Oh gosh, let me think. I'm trying to think of something that even geeks wouldn't find cool. I think that's fair. I think a guilty, geeky pleasure is something that even people who would consider themselves hardcore geeks would be like, really? Really? Um, I'm going to say Crash Bandicoot. I'm going to say Crash Bandicoot because you know what, it's not cool and any video game geek would tell you that it's a, probably a very very easy game but I love it, absolutely love Crash Bandicoot so there you go, deal with it. Um, I've kind of mentioned it again already but just to be positive and enthusiastic about whatever it is that makes you tick as a geek. Um, even if it might seem that other people don't like it. With the internet now, I can assure you that if you are enthusiastic about something geeky, there will be someone out there who agrees with you and thinks that it's as awesome as you are and that thing is. So um, yeah, just enjoy it. Don't care what anybody else thinks and just go for it. <laughs>
I must admit, I'd completely forgotten Pogs existed. They need to come back. They were amazing. Now let's move on to Graham Hoskins. Now, Graham is not your standard geek at all. He's a great friend of mine. We've made a few TV shows together and we're hopefully going to make some more. But he is definitely not your average sort of geek. Yet he is very geeky about certain things. Hi Tom, it's Graham. Talking to you about Geek Media Week. Um, absolutely, and what kind of geek am I? A geek about making stuff for TV. I'm a geek about gadgets. And I'm a geek about motorbikes. Been obsessed by those things to the point of distraction. Giving me something to do that is a distraction from work. Message to other geeks. Be loud and be proud. One thing I'll say about Graham is he was never without a gadget. He's always got some sort of Bluetooth speakers or charging unit or solar powered unit or some sort of fancy toolkit that comes out of a bag this big. It's He's just a gadget freak. Next is Michael. Now he kind of combines being incredibly geeky with OCD. Hi Tom. I would call myself a geek. I love sci-fi. Uh, I love the superhero uh, films and TV shows and cartoons and anything like that and actually uh, all cartoons. One of the first questions I asked my girlfriend uh, when we started going out two years ago was do you watch South Park? I have the box set, I have every single episode uh, purchased rather than downloaded because I, I like to have the physical items on the shelf in order in their own, their own segment. South Park has its own segment, alphabetical order. I'm fine with that, I think it's a great thing. Um, there's nothing wrong with being a geek. I can't keep up with fashion, uh, it changes too often. I'm not sure uh, whether my trousers are supposed to be baggy or tight or if I'm you know, supposed to wear them at, at the waist or you know, at my knees. Um, apparently it's knees. Captain America t-shirt and, uh, and that's fine because it was never on the catwalk so there's no time where I have to stop wearing it because because the shops aren't selling it anymore. I do tend to fall asleep with cartoons on. My girlfriend is now used to that. Family Guy, uh, American Dad, Cleveland, South Park. I can pretty much guess an episode of South Park within maybe one to two seconds. And my record is probably about one second with my eyes closed just on the audio. So, you know, if anyone wants to try that, um, it's cool. It, 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 yeah, no, it, it is geeky, don't tell people you do that. My message to geeks, there's nothing wrong with being a geek. There's there's geek chic, there's, there's, there's so much branding as to what a geek is these days, but um, I, mean, I, I think it's just somebody that's, uh, that's happy, they're focused on something that's not necessarily the mainstream, uh, it's not necessarily in, in all of the, uh, the magazines, although, you know, I would say that superheroes are now taking over the world. Um, so yeah, if you are a geek, be happy that you're a geek because there's nothing cooler. You can tell a true geek by the fact he had to keep mentioning he had a girlfriend. I'm married by the way, my wife is hot. Lastly we've got my friend Ben who is your classic geek. He loves everything comic book, everything Batman uh, and he's just a legend. Hey Tom, how you doing? Uh, got some answers for you here. Yes I would and proud. Sci-fi, comics, toys, you name it, I'm into it. Probably my uh, my very large selection of 1980s Kenner Star Wars toys. They're a bit of a giveaway. Getting all the in-jokes and Marvel movies. That'd have to be Batman the Brave and the Bold animated series. I know it's for kids, but the Aquaman is just awesome. Go and get yourself a copy of Alan Moore's run on Swamp Thing. It'll blow your mind. So that's it from me. All I've got left to say is firstly, go out and have a geeky experience. If you haven't done it, have an Xbox night with your friends. Watch all the Batman films back to back. And I don't mean just the Christian Bale ones. I mean, you know, starting at Michael Keaton, going right up to the hideous Batman and Robin that was just shameful. Go learn a magic trick. Go draw a comic. Try a hand at Warhammer. Get to your local comic store and buy a couple of comic books. It doesn't matter, just try something geeky just once, I bet you'll love it. I hope you enjoyed Geek Week and I hope it gave at least some of you the opportunity to really embrace being a geek. Thanks for watching guys and please subscribe.